And I've got Paul from Shanghai. Uh, representative from Shanghai. Uh, I'm proud to see him in the semifinals. He's one of the uh, teachers on the circuit at our in our league. He's taught a lot of our great players how to, where they're they're at. And uh, it's, it's, it's nice. Yeah. Which bar? He plays for the Room, the Room in Shanghai. It's actually a nightclub, late night, after hours. <laughs> so, Paul, which bars are uh, live streaming this today? Oh, there's about the dozen. Yeah, and all the names, all the, they're all named on the AEPC website. Okay, yeah. good to say hello, mate. Yeah, hello, Shanghai. Let's cheer for Freddy. Come on, Freddy. Back to you, Keith. And I've got August here with me is going to tell you a little bit about KL. All right, hello everybody out there. Uh, a big uh, hello to all the guys back in Vietnam and Ho Chi Minh watching us live now. I know uh, everyone's been anticipating this moment. Uh, today we have uh, our player KL making into the semi-final. KL is uh, one of our top favorites in the team. And uh, he, although an amateur player, but uh, he has been playing pool very well recently and has uh, climbed up the ranks and uh, made his mark. He has uh, yet to won any um, international or any main tournament. Right? This is his first um, uh, actual official tournament. Right? Always has been playing in bars and small clubs in Singapore and in Vietnam. Um, right, I just pass it back to Keith now. Both the guys uh, are going to buy me a beer later because they both got my name wrong. It's Neil. <laughs> so, Saigon Legends uh, joined the AAPC uh, just last year. And uh, we're very proud third place winners. The uh, healthy rivalry I mentioned before. And, oh, and a foul on, from KL. He won't be happy with that. The healthy rivalry between Bangkok and Jakarta, which started three years ago. Um, would, we were later joined by Shanghai, and then three new cities last year, one of, be, one of which being Ho Chi Minh, playing under the name of Saigon Legends. So it's great to see two players in a semi-final, which is a race to four, from neither Bangkok nor Jakarta. This is a rematch from the preliminary round, which was very tightly contested. And Freddie won that one, handling Kayla's only loss, two to one. But this being a race to four, I think we're gonna see some uh, very tight pool. Stick with us. The uh, the other semi-final going on on table four is between Pontus and Mao from Bangkok, guaranteeing obviously Bangkok one player in the final. And who knows whether he's going to meet 
player from Shanghai or a player from Ho Chi Minh? Just looking over at table four in game one, Pontus just missed the eight, allowing Mao back in. Mao played a snooker. Anyway, back to the business table. Kenny's looking to clear. He's got a tough shot on the 12. But natural position on the 14 if he gets it. And narrowly missed it. That was a nice try. Allowing KL back in. KL won't be happy with that six sitting on the rail. All the three. But these players can play. So you're going to see some pull. How good is KL under pressure? August? August says very good. He's back in his man. A lot of friendships are made in this uh, AUPC tournaments. Uh, I'm sitting here with Paul from Shanghai and August from Ho Chi Minh, two new friends. Who, uh, when we're not playing pool against each other, we're socializing wherever the event is, whether it be Bangkok or Jakarta. A lot of new friends are made at these tournaments. And thanks to all the sponsors that have helped put these tournaments on. That's a nice safety shot by uh, KL. He didn't really have much choice there. That six was tied up, but now pots into the corner. That always was going to be a tough shot on the 14. Now letting Kale on, uh, in on one of his tougher balls. He should easily make this three. And does. Nicely into center table for a choice of all three. Electing to take the six, then the one. And then come back for the seven and eight. <coughs> KL looks to be in good shape, but maybe a little bit straight on that one, making it difficult to get closer to the seven. Could be looking at a long shot after this one. in the screw back and nicely on the seven. Position on the eight shouldn't be a problem. If he gets this relatively long pot. Oh, he's... Uh, the left-hand side didn't take as much as he expected there. He's left himself a tougher eight than he would have liked. But these players can make these shots. That's why they're here.
And KL did make it. That's a great shot. So KL takes a 1-0 lead in a race to four, this semi-final. Race to four.